guys, it's Lori, and this is a no must, no fuss, cold brew coffee. This is actually an update to a video from two years ago, and it's a lot simpler than the one that I made two years ago, but I will put that one up in the cards in case anybody wants to go see that. But it's summer, it's iced coffee season, so it's time for an update to that original video. All right, I still, I do still have the same, can you see this okay, I hope so. <laughs> I do still have the same jar that I used to use, the great big pickle jar, it's the same jar. I'm gonna use my half cup, I have my Kirkland coffee here. You can use any kind of coffee grounds that you wanna use, it doesn't matter. Even cheap coffee makes good iced coffee. Here is, the big difference. This is this looks weird because I've used it so many times and I just wash it out when I'm done. But this is a bag for making nut milk. I got this on Amazon. I have a couple other ones, but they're really big. So I wanted some a little bit smaller ones so they'd fit down in the jar easier. And the trick is getting them out of the jar once they're all wet. <laughs> but anyway, yeah, I do for this size jar. I'm not sure exactly what this is. Right here, this mark right here is 60 ounces, so it's a pretty good sized jar. I just do, this is my half cup because it fits inside this bag. My whole, my one cup measuring cup doesn't really fit in there. So I do two cups of coffee grounds for this size jar. I try not to make a mess. I'm making a little bit of a mess, not too bad. Just close it up at the top and I do this. I just kind of tie it shut so that I don't end up with a bunch of coffee grounds down in my cold brew. Get this out of the way. Now, this still, even though it's a smaller bag, it still ends up getting swelled up in there and hard. it's hard to pull out of there when I'm finished. So what I do is I take a rubber band, I kind of push the coffee grounds up towards the top and I take a rubber band and tie it around the bottom and just kind of crisscross it a little bit like this to make it so that the, so that it's easier to pull out of the jar when it's all wet. Drop it down in the jar. I just fill it up with tap water. That's all I do. Let me fill this up. While that's filling up, let me show you what I do when it sits, after it sits for eight to 12 hours minimum, I usually let it sit for at least 24 hours. Sometimes it sits for two, three days before I get it and it's still fine. So it's, it's not a real big deal. As long as it's eight hours, you should get a pretty good flavor. But I've just put them in these jars and I'm using the wide mouth jars because I got these lids, if I can get it off of there. Shut off my water so I don't run it over. These lids are awesome. I got these from Amazon and I don't remember the exact price, but I thought they were a little on the pricey side, but boy, are they worth it. They've got a nice seal in there and they are so nice. You just put them on here and you can just pour this right into your drinking glass and mix it up however you wanna mix it up. You can use flavored cream, you can use the Tarani syrup, you can use just just plain cream you just drink it black you know sweetener whatever you want to do with it but just like with my last video i still make the coffee ice cubes i've got four trays of them ready to go into the freezer now let me grab a, uh, my cubes here's the ones that i already have made up so i really like to use the coffee ice cubes like i said in my original video I don't like it when my ice melts and my iced coffee gets watered down. So I just make it right out of the cold brew now. After I, when I, um, <laughs> you don't have to strain it anymore like I did with the last video when you use the, the nut bags. Here's another one that I have. These are just really nice. And uh, this one is just got washed. So I'm uh, letting it dry. <laughs> and what I use for that is this. <laughs> This is, uh, I got this from Amazon too, and it's to hold open a Ziploc bag while you're putting stuff in it. But let me move this out of the way. It works really good just to slip this over the top of it and it you let it dry like that and it dries pretty fast. But anyway, yeah, so I have two of those bags and I try to keep some iced coffee going all the time in the summer because I like it, my kids drink it, well my daughters do, my oldest son does. So anyway, I'm addicted to it, let's face it. 
But I had made some earlier and my ice has melted and it's not watered down at all because my ice cubes are made out of coffee. So yeah, that's, that's pretty awesome. Anyway, yeah, this is what I make the coffee cubes out of now. Before I would brew coffee and make ice cubes, well, I thought, you know what, that's silly, that's a waste of time, let's just make it simple and just use the cold brew to make the ice cubes too. Anyway, yeah, so that's everything guys and thanks a lot for watching. I hope you guys try the iced coffee, the cold brew. Let me know if you do and I'll see you in the next video.